I just want to know one thing. Are you ready for some good news? I hope so, because I've got some. Good news, that is. First up, researchers have found a way to prevent Zika infection. Through studying the antibody C10, a team of researchers from the Duke NUS Medical School and the University of North Carolina have discovered how the antibody is able to block the Zika virus from infecting cells. C10 is able to bind with the virus, preventing it from fusing with other cells and thereby preventing infection. The researchers hope knowing that C10 is able to neutralize Zika and how it's able to do it will enable them to develop C10 as a treatment for Zika infection, which has affected an estimated 1.5 million people in Brazil since last year and thousands more throughout the Americas, including several thousand here in the United States. There is currently no vaccine against Zika infection, so this C10 therapy would be very good news indeed for many people. This research is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, a team of scientists has found that a tiny adjustment could lead to significantly better fuel cells. Scientists at Stanford University combined a platinum catalyst with a material that expands and contracts with electron movement. As it contracts, the material squeezes the platinum ever so slightly. It doesn't seem like much, but that little squeeze nearly doubles the catalytic activity of the platinum. What does that mean? Well, the Stanford team believes this technique could be applied to fuel cells that generate energy using platinum catalysts, as well as water splitters that separate oxygen and hydrogen from H2O molecules. This could lead to increased performance for hydrogen fuel cells and to various other clean energy technologies currently in development. The paper on this exciting new technology is published in the journal Science. Finally, I always love outer space news, and earlier this month, NASA published some stunning new images of dwarf planet Ceres. Ceres is the largest object in our solar system's asteroid belt, which orbits the Sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. NASA's Dawn spacecraft arrived at Ceres in March of 2015 and has been studying the dwarf planet ever since. This image was taken by Dawn at an altitude of approximately 900 miles and offers a good view of a Kator crater, one of Ceres' most prominent surface features. NASA also released this image, which was created by the German Aerospace Center using pictures taken by Dawn last year. The image approximates how Ceres would appear to the unaided human eye. If you were on a spaceship closely approaching Ceres, and you looked out a window, you'd see something very much like this. Pretty cool. Dawn's mission is managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and is scheduled to continue until next year. Researchers find a way to neutralize Zika infections. Scientists boost the performance of catalysts by giving them a little squeeze. And NASA releases beautiful new images of Dwarf Planet Ceres. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.